Like most men, it took Roberto Luongo a while to work up the courage to ask his future wife out on a date. But those in the restaurant knew right away. He uh, engaged at her with uh, a lot of enthusiasm. I'm no spring chicken, but I've been around the block, uh, and I knew when he said, who's that? And I said, my niece. He said, oh, I, I know her right away. Right away, I knew that you know there was something there, something special, and uh, you know, uh, even though we hadn't really been on a date or anything yet, but we had spoken, I, I knew that you know this was the type of person that I wanted to be there, and I really felt that there was something there. Roberto became a fixture at Pizza Time that first season in Florida. Missing his own family, he became close to this one, speaking Italian regularly, and eventually Roberto would make his move with the owner's daughter. So I was really shy back at, in the day, and. Uh, the season had just ended, and I was leaving for uh, the World Championships. So right before I left, I uh, sent her some flowers, and uh, and then I just ran away, kind of <laughs> waited to see if there was any response after that. He is. He is romantic. He has a side of him that's, uh, he's very shy when you first meet him, but when you really get to know him, he's very, very sweet and loving and romantic. He is. It's the little things that he does. One wonders what Roberto would have done if the Panthers had ever made the playoffs. The first world championships allowed him to send flowers and run. Two years later, Gina followed Roberto to Finland. And following the next world championships in Prague was a trip to Italy. Uh, we were in Venice, Italy. Um, we, he actually was playing a tournament in um, Prague. And we decided to make a trip out to Italy after. We had family there and we had always wanted to visit together. So we went out there, we started in Venice and we took a gondola ride and he got on bended knee and just asked. He asked, but as you would expect of any good traditional Italian boy, he asked Gina's father first. Even though I was really good friends with her, with her parents, it was something that uh, I was really nervous about, you know, doing. Not big so, uh, uh, but, you know, obviously he, he said, uh, you know, that it was his pleasure and he considered me as one of his sons. It was his love at first sight, that's the way it happened. And that's uh, one of those fairy tale love stories, the way I saw it. Yeah, <laughs>